Hello class, this is our lecture about the colligative properties of solution. Uh, this lecture is only a problem solving about the colligative properties of solution. And those are the vapor pressure lowering, boiling point elevation, freezing point depression, and osmotic pressure. Okay. And by the way, the PowerPoint is not mine. If you wish to download this PowerPoint, I just like just kindly click the link below of this video. And this PowerPoint is based on the book of Chemistry, the Central Science, 11 edition by Theodore Brown, Eugene Lee May Jr., and Bruce E. Perstead. So let's cut to the chase and let's solve our first problem, namely the vapor pressure lowering. And the vapor pressure lowering formula is also known as the Rolt's law, by which this one is the uh, vapor pressure of the solvent with respect to the mole fraction and the presence of the solute in the solution. Now let's solve this problem immediately. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, a glycerin uh, is a non-volatile non-electrolyte with a density of 1.26 grams per ml at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the vapor pressure of the solution made by adding 50 ml of glycerin to a 500 ml of water. The vapor pressure of pure water at 25 degrees Celsius is 23.8 torricelli, and in uh, it is based from the appendix B. It is a constant value, guys. Uh, kahit sa nyo tignan, ang vapor pressure ng ating water of 25 degrees Celsius is 23.8 torricelli. Uh, of course, with a density of uh, 1 grams per ml. Now, simulan na natin. Okay, so our P here is the H2O. And we wish to calculate the H2O and then P not H2O here. Ngayon, dito guys, is uh, syempre, we have to consider first the whole fraction. Yan yung pin isa sa pin, uh, yan yung mahirap na part na magiging calculations natin kasi napakahaba niyan. Okay. Now, if we want to calculate for the uh, uh, mole fraction of H2O, syempre, uh, you all know the formula. It's the mole of H2O all over total moles. Na saan it is expandable of moles of H2O all over ano ba yung substance na presence glycerin and water. So therefore, it's the mole of H2O plus the mole of glycerin or G. I will denote it as G. So first, calculate muna natin yung moles ng water. And yung mole, as we all know, it is mass all over molecular weight. So sir, uh, milliliter naman po yung unit dito. How do we calculate for grams for in terms of mass? We will use the density formula which the density is equals to mass over volume. And it transforms niya, let's isolate the mass. So mass is equals to density times volume. Ayan yung magiging formula natin. And by the way, ang gagawin ko dito is a shortcut method. Ay papasok ko agad yung mga values natin. In this one equation, ay hindi na ako mag individually calculate para mas maobilis yung discussion natin. But the result naman, kahit anong approach naman yung gawin ninyo sa ating calculation, you will only yield. Uh, the same exact answer of this one. Kung tama yung magiging siyempre method niyo, Okay? Now here for the mass of H2O, ano ba yung pa natin? Di ba density times volume? What's the density of water? It's 1 grams per ml. And then the, its volume is 500 ml. Siyempre di ba maa-ansil yung milliliter? We will yield a grams. And then the molecular weight of water, tinis-as na natin yan, uh, yung molecular weight nun is the sum of atomic weights of the species present. So for water, it is a 18 grams per mole. And our answer for this part, of course, uh, will be the grams is cancelled. So it is a 500 all over 18. And that would be a 27.777. Actually, hanggang dole. Yan. So approximate alang natin into a four significant figures or five significant figures eh, moles of water. So it's check and check. Now let's calculate for the moles of glycerin. Now the moles of glycerin, uh, as we all know, it is ayan, mass all over molecular weight equals to the mass. Okay, so ano ba yun? 50 ml times the density na 1.26 grams per ml. So density na 1.26 grams per ml for us to calculate the mass times the volume which is 50 milliliters, so maa-cancel, matitira yung grams 
all over the molecular weight glycerin. The molecular weight of glycerin is, ayan, ka-alculate ko na muna, that is 12.011 times 3 plus 1.608 times 8 plus 15. Ayan. Ang molecular weight niya is 92.067 grams per mole. And of course, the gram is cancelled and then so 1.26 times 500 all over 92.067 and we will have a value of 6.843 moles glycerin. And then syempre, pagtasin nyo itong dalawang to to get the total moles. Ayan, so 27.778 plus 6.843 is equals to 27.778 plus 6.843 is equals to 34.621. Ayan. Uh, okay, uh, some sort of calculations na pala. I forgot. Sorry guys. Uh, naman yung input for this part is not actually... Ayan, so it is... 0.6843. Naman lang input sa calculator. So my apologies. So ayan. Okay. And here. So we will calculate for this one. So 27.778 uh, plus 0.6843. Ang value natin is 28.4. 4, 6, 2, 3. Yan ay total moles natin na kung saan for to calculate the whole fraction of water. Ngayon, balik na tayo dito, guys. Okay? The moles of water is equals to what? 27.778 moles. All over the total moles, ayan, 28.4623. Okay? Ngayon, let's calculate for that. 27.778 all over 28.4623 is equals to 0 0.976. So ang kumapapansin ninyo guys, mahaba yung calculation natin before we substitute the values for the whole fraction of water. So isa-substitute lang natin yung values here and then ayan na. So for the uh, uh, before pressure lowering, uh, before pressure constant of water, Standard yan. So that is 23.8 Torricelli. 23.8 Torricelli. Ayan, pag times nyo lang, kung papansin nyo, di ba? Direct substitution lang. Pero mahirap lang na part is yung pag-calculate ng mole fraction. And our answer for this part is 23.8 uh, times 0 0.976. Uh, that would be 23.23 Torricelli. Ayan. So, yan yung sagot natin. Now, let's check. Ayan. 23.2. Ang sagot natin is 23.23. So, ayan. Ang sagot natin. So, take a screenshot, guys. Okay. Now, let's proceed to our next problem. Okay, now our next problem is all about a boiling point elevation and freezing point depression. Okay, automotive antifreeze consists of a consists of ethylene glycol in a volatile electrolyte. Calculate the boiling point and freezing point of a 25.0 mass percent solution of ethylene glycol in water. Now, dito, we have to consider the constant value of the water. Kasi tinitignan natin dito, guys, is yung solvent na involved. And as you can see here, guys, okay, unahin natin yung ating, ba natin, yung ating boiling point elevation. So, it denotes, syempre, uh, delta Tb is equals to the molal boiling point elevation constant times the molality. Now, dito, Sa may water, ang ganyan ay solvent, ang molal boiling point elevation constant is 0 0.51. So, 0 0.51 degree Celsius per molality. Pero, ang hinahanap natin is ano yung molality. Okay. 
concentration of solution calculation ulit magaganap dito. So molality is just a mass of the solute all over the molecular weight of solute as S times the kilogram of solvent. Now, if we're going to analyze this problem here, papansin ninyo, let's assume that we have a 100 grams of solution. And then, meron tayong 25% na mass solute here. It's actually solute of ethylene glycol. So, therefore, sa 100 grams na yan, meron tayong 25 grams na ethylene glycol or EG na lang. I will denote it as EG. Siyempre, ito yung ating solute. So, ilan yung natitira natin solvent? 75 grams. And that is our water. Okay. Ngayon, dito na tayo magkaaroon ng direct substitution. This is the mass of solute. This is the solvent. By which later on, siyempre, calculate muna natin into kilograms para direct substitution na lang yan. We have 1,000 grams all over 1 kilogram. And that is 0 0.0. 75 grams, uh, kilograms pala, I should say, kilograms of water. So, ayan, uh, substitute na natin. So, 25 grams all over the molecular weight of ethylene glycol, which is, uh, na-alkylate naman natin dito anina, di ba? Uh, here, ayan, ay, that is glycerin. So, we have to alkylate it individually. The molecular weight of Ethylene glycol is 0.011. Okay, this may take some time. Bear with me. Okay. 0.11. Plus. Uh, uh, point eight nine is two plus one point six eight times six. Okay, the molecular weight of ethylene glycol is sixty two point zero five grams per mole. Ayan, and then for the mass of the solvent, so that is zero point zero seven five a uh, kilogram. Ayan, na isagot natin. Our answer for this is twenty five grams all over sixty two point zero five times 0 0.075, the molality of our ethylene glycol is 5.372 molal, moles per kilogram, or simply pwede rin yun. So ito na yung sasubstitute natin dito. So, may part ito, di ba? Kung mapapansin ninyo, is ang haba ng calculations. So we have here a 5.372, ayan, M, and then calculation here. So it is just a simple multiplication times 0 0.51 for the KB. So that would be only uh, 2.739 degrees Celsius. And of course, syempre, ano ba yung boiling point ng water natin? Di ba? Sinabi natin sa discussion at sa first part. Kapag boiling point, i-add ninyo yung 100 degrees Celsius. Kapag ng freezing point, ayan, ilelis ninyo siya. So therefore, hindi pa tayo tapos dyan. We will, ang delta TB natin would be uh, okay, 100 degrees Celsius for the boiling point of water plus 2.739 degrees Celsius. And ang sagot natin is siyempre 102.739 degrees Celsius. So that is the boiling point elevation of our solution with the presence of 5.372 uh, molal of ethylene glycol. So take screenshot guys. So we can proceed to the next problem for the freezing point depression naman. Okay, let's proceed. Proceed for this one here. Okay. Now for the freezing point depression, which is the delta TF. Ayan, so mas madali na calculation natin. Because the molality of the ethylene glycol, glycol is determined. So it's just a Kf times M. So ano ba Kf ng ating solvent ng water natin? That is 1.86. So 1.86 uh, degree per, per Celsius molarity times 
7.2 molal, ayan, iba ang kilitin ng kanina. So, uh, minus, and we will yield the calculation of 1.86 times 5.372, ayan, we will have a value of uh, 9.99192 degrees Celsius. And then, syempre, hindi pa tayo tapos dyan. For the freezing point depression, okay guys, so it is, ano ba yung ano natin? So water is zero. Pagka naman a uh, freezing point depression, guys, is ang gagawin ninyo, is ima-minus nyo naman, di ba? Kung sa boiling point is plus, this one is subtraction naman. So 9.9912 degrees Celsius. And that would be, of course, negative 9.9912 degrees Celsius for the freezing point depression of ethylene glycol in water. Of the solution, of course, of the solution with the presence of 5.372 molalic of ethylene glycol. So let's check our answer here. Okay, let's check the answer. Yan, so mapansin ninyo. Ayan, so ganito yung sagot natin. Ayan, oh. so malapit. Negative 10 and negative 100. Positive 100 point two. Okay, the formula, ayan, syempre ulit, ulitin ko, is TF and KFM. So, this one is constant. Ang mahirapan lang yung i-calculate is yung molality. Sa vapor pressure lowering, ang mahirapan nyo lang i-calculate dito is yung mole fraction. Okay, now let's proceed to the next problem, which involves a, the colligative properties of electrolytes. Ayan, with, syempre with the presence of I. Syempre, di ba? Ang gagawin lang dito guys, actually, is just a, ito. So, consider this one. Ito, let's have this analysis here. Okay. Uh, walang example dito ng band factor. Pero ang tandaan nyo guys, uh, okay, sige. I'll just provide you a brief example for this, for that. Okay, let's see. Ito. Let's see ang paninyo. Kunwari, uh, we want to determine the boiling point elevation constant of the sodium chloride in a uh, 2.5 molal halimbawa. So, ang formula nun is just I kb times M and in water. Ayan. So, ano ba yung pan natin ng water natin? Ano ba yung... Uh, uh, ano muna yung I, di ba? Sodium chloride comprised of sodium chloride. So, the band factor value is 2. Then the KB is 0 0.51 for water degree Celsius uh, per molality. And then, ayan, substitute nyo lang with 2.5 molar. And you will get the answer, of course, with the addition of 100 degree Celsius. So, ang sagot natin dito, let's say we have this hypothetical problem here. Uh, 0 0.51 times 2.5. That would be 2.55, ayan, degree Celsius. Ang magiging sagot natin dito is 102.55 degree Celsius. So, ayun lang for the electrolytes. Meron na tayong multiplier na ito. Pero pag yan ay potassium sulfate, yan ay magiging 3. Kapag magnesium sulfate, yan ay 2. Kapag sucrose, that is 1. Kasi nga, non-electrolyte yun. Ayan. So let's have an analysis for this problem. This is the following. Okay, list the following solutions in order of their expected freezing point. So let's have first, syempre, babas. Sa may unang-una, sa may presence of the electrolytes. Hindi tayo babas dito sa may band of factor natin. As stated naman dun sa solution. So for the sodium chloride, guys, Ayan, it will dissociate into sodium plus chloride. So that would be 0 0.5 molal, 0 0.5 molal. Ayan. And ang addition niyan, ang uh, sum niyan is 0 0.30 molal. For the calcium chloride naman, so calcium chloride here, it will dissociate into calcium plus two chlorides to balance, diba? so that is 0 0.05. That would be 2, kasi may coefficient na 2, 0 0.05. So, syempre, maging answer is 0 0.15 molal. Now, for the HCl, it's also a strong electrolyte. So, that would be HCl when they associates 
uh, it will yield a hydrogen in chloride ion. So 0 0.1 molal and 0 0.1 molal and addition nito would be 0 0.3 molal. Next naman for the acetic acid, uh, actually this one here, uh, this one here is yung ating acetic acid uh, is a weak electrolyte. So walang dissociation mo your it will only retain uh, 0 0.05 lang yung values niya up to 0 0.1. Pero hindi yan aabot yan kasi nga it's just a weak electrolyte. So let's assume na ang concentration lang ng ating acetic acid is 0 0.05. And then for the last, of course, the sucrose here, of course, syempre yung sa may sucrose naman natin, it's not a weak electrolyte. Uh, it's not an electrolyte. So it will only yield a 0 0.10 molality. Kasi hindi siya nada-dissociate. Eh. So if you are going to rank this one, syempre, uh, this one here is spot number one. Uh, next, this one here is yung ating number two. And this one here is yung ating number three. And this one is our number uh, number four. And then weakest, this one here is our number five. Yeah. So, iko anatin in terms of increasing, uh, that is a. Ang sagot natin dito, ayan. Uh, teka. Ayan. So, sagot natin, that would be, siyempre, unang una yung. In terms of increasing to, ah. Ayan. Tapos, ay, mali, mali, mali. Sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, Siyempre, unang-una is acetic acid. Susunod yung sucrose. Then susunod yung ating uh, calcium chloride here. Then susunod, hindi na siya sa space, uh, HCl, and nangunguna yung ating sodium chloride. So yan yung sagot natin. So let's check. Ayan, so tama. Ayan, tama tayo. Ah, baliktad pala guys. Sorry. So, baliktad. Uh, increasing, increasing point. Uh, from lowest to highest tayo. Ayan. So, uh, baliktad pala. Okay. Doon pala tayo sa may highest pressing point. Hindi pala in terms of decreasing. So, tama yung arrangement natin. Pero, babaliktad pala. Okay. Now, let's proceed to our next problem. Okay, so we're done with the uh, uh, Rolf's Law, the vapor pressure lowering, uh, boiling point elevation, and freezing point depression. Ano na titira na lang, sa, na lang sa atin is a osmotic pressure or the osmosis. But before we do that, uh, punta naman tayo dito sa may ating uh, uh, ito. A medyo tricky na problem with regards to the freezing point depression and boiling point elevation. But this term is all about the uh, boiling point elevation. Ayan. So, boiling point elevation pala yung term natin dyan. So, we have to calculate the molar mass of the solute. So, how do we calculate that? Kasi nga, okay, I'm gonna explain. So, delta Tb has a formula since non-electrolyte naman niya. So, formula natin is KBm. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin is to, it is expandable into Kb, di ba? Yung molality natin, is expandable into uh, sorry uh, mole solute all over kilogram solvent. By which yung mole ng solute natin is expandable then. So another expansion of formula. So Kb times the mass of the solute all over the molecular weight of the solute times the kilogram of solvent. So, ang, ang mangyayari dito guys is we have to isolate this molecular weight of solute so, with regards to the delta Tb. Ang gagawin ko dito is just a shortcut. I will derive the formula for you para hindi na ayaw po sa may hassle na ito. Yan, na ganyan, magandang problem. Pero nasa sa inyo pa rin kung anong approach ang gagawin niyo, okay? So, let's derive the formula. Okay, delta Tb. Is okay, criss cross multiplication. So, pupunta yan. I will denote the molecular weight 
into MW times the kilogram of solvent into kg. Ang matitira dito is KB and mass solute. And we want to isolate the molecular weight. So ibababa mo lang kung dalawang part na to dito for us to isolate the molecular weight which is KB times the mass solute all over the uh, delta TB times the uh, the kilogram of the solvent. Ayan. So, ayan na yung pa natin, formula natin, a drive formula. So, mga ara lang dito is a ayan. So, we have, ang our solvent natin is carbon tetrachloride, not water. So, ano ba yung molal boiling point elevation constant ng ating carbon tetrachloride? And dito na ah, indicate yan dito sa mga balis na yan. So, ayan yung magiging table ninyo. Yun yung basis natin. So, ang KB natin for the carbon tetrachloride in yung solvent is ano daw? Carbon tetrachloride. Ano daw? So, KB is ilan? 5.02. So, 5.02 degree Celsius per molarity. Per molarity. Yan. And the mass solute is ilan? 0.250 grams. So, 0.250 grams. All over the delta TB, higher down. So, that is uh, 0.357. And ito naman ay 76.8. So, mangyayari dito is isa sum ninyo as stated here in the problem. I know. Nagkaroon tayo ng sum. Ay, wala pala. So, sorry for that. So, mangyayari dito is just a direct substitution of 0.2. 357 uh, degree Celsius times the kilogram of the solvent, of course. Ito. So let's calculate this one into 40 all over 1,000. So sir, bakit po 40 over 1,000? Kasi nga, naka-inkuan siya. Ang simplified form lang nun is 40 grams times uh, 1,000 grams all over 1 kilogram for us to calculate the mass of the solvent in terms of kilograms. So for 40 over 1,000. And then, ayun na. So, uh, the recalculation lang yan sa calculator natin. Okay, we will yield a value of 5.02. Uh, okay, uh, magkaroon ang multiplication dito, guys. Uh, just bear with me. And sagot natin dito, ang molecular weight ng ating substance is 87.885 grams per Sir, ba't po naging ganun? Okay, isa-isahin natin. Let's change the, the formula. So, dito kasi, di ba, uh, uh, we have itong molality. Sige, i-means natin yung pan. Kung ba't naging ganun yung unit. So, we have here, I will drop the, unit, the values. Sige, di ba, meron tayong degree Celsius per molality. By which the molality is equals to uh, moles per kilogram per kilogram which the kilogram is mapupunta dito sa may taas so another expression here is na uh, degree celsius per kilogram over mole so and then the grams or the mass all over the degree celsius for the temperature and then the kilogram so ang sinasabi niyo cancellation of kilogram degree celsius we will yield a grams per mole Kaya, grams per mole yung unit so here, ayan, tumama tayo, is 88.0 grams per mole. Uh, ito naman is for the unknown molecular weight. So madedetermine nun yun na kung ano yung substance na present by referring to the molecular weight of the calculated part of the, uh, actually, this uh, on the, actually uh, this is supposed to be boiling point elevation. Ayan, sorry for that. Ayan. So we're done with the three... Uh, Parameters, uh, three types of the colligative properties of solution or three properties. Punta naman tayo sa my osmotic pressure. Which is the osmotic pressure has a formula of pi is equals to N over V or MRT or molarity. Okay. Now, let's cut to the chase and 
Kuha na tayo dyan. Let's calculate immediately. Okay. Now here, the average of osmotic pressure of blood is 7.78 pm at 25 degrees Celsius. What molarity of glucose will be isotonic with blood? So, ang ika-addrate yan dito is just the molarity, di ba? So, ang expression ng ating uh, osmotic pressure is, is pi mRT. Di ba? So, hinahan natin is molarity. So, let's just isolate the m and pi all over RT. So, binaba mo lang siya. Kasi nga, we are calculating the molarity. So, the R dito is always constant. It is 0 0.08206 uh, liter ATM per moles per Kelvin. So, it is a constant. Okay, tandaan niyo ah. And for the pi naman, it is an ATM. And then, yung T natin is always Kelvin. Okay? So, let's calculate for this part. Yan. So, pi, yung osmotic pressure is 7.7 atm. All over the gas constant is ayan nga, 0 0.08206 uh, liter atm per moles per kelvin. And then the temperature, di ba, in terms of kelvin, di ba, yung kelvin natin is just a 273.15 plus, plus uh, degree Celsius. So therefore, ang temperature ng blood natin at 25 degree Celsius is 298.15. Kasi nga, di ba, tinlas mo yung 25 Kelvin. Ayan. So, we will just substitute into 298.15 Kelvin here. So, ang magiging sagot natin dito will be 7.7 times 0 0.08206 times 298.15 and that would be uh, 0 0.3147, so mga acid ATM, acid uh, Kelvin, we will yield a moles per liter. So ayan na yung sagot natin for the small pressure, di ba? So kung tutuusin, it's just a direct substitution lang. We just have to calculate the uh, uh, parameters or variables present in the equation. So that will be it. Ayan, so tumama ba tayo? Okay, tama, 0 0.31. 0.31. Ayan. So, this one here. Uh, okay. Okay, next calculation with regards to the osmotic pressure. Okay. Ang hinahanap naman dito. Ayan, I'll take a screenshot, guys. For you to calculate for this part. Okay. So, let's proceed to the next problem. Uh, it involves a calculation of the molecular weight. Okay. Uh, molecular weight naman, again, uh, magde-derive na ako ng formula natin para hindi na ayaw dumaan dito sa may uh, implikadong process uh, na ito. Ayan. Para hindi na ayaw dumaan, tapos magka-alculate tayo dito. And then another calculations here. Diba? Ang dami. It's a one step. Pero here in this uh, lecture, I will show you the derived equation for the molecular weight of the, for the determination molecular weight in the smoothie pressure. So again, okay, it is, di ba, pi all over uh, uh, is equals to molarity RT, by which the molarity is expandable into moles per liter. Tama. And ayan yung RT. And then, which, by which also yung mole is also expand uh, siya in terms of mass all over molecular weight times liter times RT. Ngayon, ito na yung equation natin. The mass, uh, yan, R times T all over molecular weight times L. We will also isolate the molecular weight. So crisscross multiplication, and we will yield a pi times mw times l is equals to mass times r times t. And then bababa natin tong pi and l to isolate the molecular weight. So molecular weight is equals to mass times r times t all over the pi and the liter. So ayan na yung 
uh, derived form for the determination of molecular weight in the osmotic pressure collocative property solution. Now, ayan, direct substitution na magaganap dito. Okay, let's pa natin. Solution, okay, 3.5 milligrams of protein. So, diba sa ating molarity, dapat grams. So, that would be, magkaroon ng direct uh, derivation here. So, milligrams, uh, conversion pala. So, per 1,000 milligram, that is gram. Ayan. Ayan. So, multiplication here. Uh, wait lang. Uh, where's the mouse pointer? Ayan. And then, dun sa may R, it is a gas constant naman. So, that is 0 0.08206 uh, liter ATM per moles Kelvin. And then, dun sa ating T, ano ba yung temperature natin? 25 degrees Celsius. So, add mo lang yan ng 273.15, di ba? For it to be a 298.15 Kelvin. Ayan. So, it is equals to 298.15 Kelvin. And then, all over, ilan yung osmotic pressure na present? 1.54 Tori Jelly. So, ang kwan natin dito, for every one, uh, for ev ang unit for our pi is ATM. So, how do we convert the Tori Jelly into ATM? Take note that there is, for every one ATM, there is a 100 uh, 760 torricelli. So this one, the pi, so that will be 1.54 torricelli times, of course, diba? so 760 torricelli per 1 ATM times the liter of the solution. Ano ba yung given na volume? 5 ml. So the 5 ml, again, magkaaroon ulit tao ng uh, Ah, uh, pasensya na guys kung direct conversion ang ginagawa ko dito ah. Kasi ah uh, hahaba pa kasi yung solution natin kapag tayo ay uh, nagagamit ng step by step conversion. So pinapakita ko lang dito. Ah uh, sa inyong pagsosolve ng problem, it is not necessarily to show this. Depende yan sa style niyo. Basta ang tandaan niyo is mag-aarrive kayo sa isang sagot kapag tama yung solution niyo, okay? So let's calculate for this part here and 3.5 over 1,000 times 0 0.08206 times 298.15 all over 1.54 divided by 760 okay, times 5 all over 1,000 and for the inversion. So ang sagot natin ng molecular weight ng protein natin, molar mass niya is 8,451.9 562 grams per mole. So, sir, parang ay nag-arrive dyan. Cancel mo 2 milligram. Cancel mo ang Torricelli. Cancel mo yung ml in liter. So, liter, cancel. ATM, cancel. Kelvin, cancel. Natang natira ay grams at mole. So, grams per mole. So, ayan yung mga sagot natin for this one. Ayan. So, ayan. So, take a screenshot, guys, for the, uh, ayan, take a screenshot for this part, ayan, for you to understand the equation or the problem solving. Ayan. So, let's check the answer. Tumugma ba? Ayan, so tumugma. 8.45 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, pag kinonvert mo yan, that's just a 8,450. Now, saan kung mapapansin ninyo, dito sa may problem na ito, uh, it involves three-step process. Pero dito, uh, nag-derive lang ako uh, using the, the smoothing pressure equation, syempre with the absence of one factor, to isolate the molecular weight. Ayan, uh, kung mapapansin nyo naman, dito. Ayan, to molecular weight here. So, ayan na. Magkaaroon na lang kayo ng direct substitution. And actually, Pwede niyong laro-laro itong formula na to, depende doon sa may parameters na hinahanap. So ayan, uh, that will be our discussion for today. We will skip to the colloids because it's not the scope of our lecture. So thank you for listening guys for this uh, problem solving part of our lecture. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you have any questions, please just kindly message me to Messenger. If there's any confusions, how can you hear what tanong? 
Uh, I think uh, sa messenger na lang kayo mag-PM guys kung nasa Gmail kasi madalas ako magbukas ng messenger. Okay? So thank you guys for listening and good night.